Hi everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates. Today I'm going to show you how to make these delicious glazed cinnamon twists. You're not going to believe how easy these are. Anyone in your family can make these. Grab you a cinnamon twist and watch my show. Let's go. Okay, if you have these seven ingredients here, you are able to make the most delicious homemade cinnamon twist. And all you're going to need is some pizza dough. Now, you can get the pre-made pizza dough like this right here, or you could even make your own homemade pizza dough. I do have a recipe, and I'll link it down below in the description box. You're going to need some vanilla, powdered sugar, regular sugar, butter, milk, and cinnamon. That's it, you guys. Let's go ahead. I'm going to show you how easy it is to put these together. Okay, to get started, we're going to preheat our oven to 375 degrees, and then you just want to take a cookie sheet and lightly spray it, very lightly. And what we're going to do is just place this off to the side. All right, we're going to take our pizza dough. Now, this is a 13.8 size of pizza dough. This is refrigerated pizza dough that you would get out of your refrigerated section in your store. Now, you can also use homemade dough if you would like. I will drop down a recipe down below for my recipe. Now, that recipe is a doubled recipe, so you want to make sure you just cut that in half depending on how many cinnamon twists you want to make. Okay, so this right here will make 12 cinnamon twists, and they're going to be, you know, about that size there. So the next step is we're going to take our pizza dough here, open it up. Y'all, these are so good. I get requested to make this all the time by my husband. <laughs> he loves these things. Okay, so I just opened it, and what we're going to do is pull it out. Now roll these out. And that's it, just like that. So I'm going to pull it out. All right, what we're going to do now... Okay, so I'm just going to take a knife and I'm just going to cut this in half and then cut it in half again until we have four rectangles. There we go. Okay, I'm going to spread these out just a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead now and take four tablespoons of melted butter. Now, I'm just going to use three tablespoons of this for the pizza dough and then save one tablespoon for the end. Now, I'm just going to take a pastry brush here and just butter these pizza doughs really good. Okay, that is looking really good. Now, you know, if you like cinnamon rolls, you're going to love this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice, quick, easy dessert. Your kids will love these. It'll be so easy for them to make this too, so. But my husband loves making these. Okay, I just got a small bowl here. I'm going to add my quarter cup of sugar. And then we're just going to sprinkle in some cinnamon. That looks good. About two teaspoons. All right, we're just going to whisk this together. Now, if you want more cinnamon in there, put more cinnamon in there. Okay. Oh, that smells so good. 
We're going to take that sugar mixture here and we're going to take about two thirds of it and sprinkle it only on two of the doughs here. Really good. Mmm. So good and so easy, you guys. You're not going to put these down until they're done. You know, if you have some nuts or if you have chocolate chips, just imagine the different things you can do with these. Okay, now we're going to take the two buttered doughs here that have no sugar on them and we're going to place them on top of the ones with the sugar and covering up the sugar. Just like that. Bring it over to the edges and then we're just going to crimp it. Kind of seal it together. Just like that. My oven is now preheated. That's good, we're getting really close here. Okay, now what we're gonna do is take each one of these and we're gonna cut them into pieces. So I'm just gonna cut it down the center here. Okay, what I'm doing now is just cutting these into strips. All right, push these off to the side, bring my pan over here. Okay, so what you're going to want to do at this time is take one of your strips and then you're just going to twist them just a few times and then lay it on your prepared baking sheet here that we lightly sprayed with some cooking spray. Okay, so just take one, twist about four or five times and then just lay them on your baking sheet here. Okay, I'm going to take my remaining butter here and I'm just going to lightly brush over each twist. This is what's going to help hold the rest of the sugar that we're going to put on top of here. The sugar and cinnamon mixture that we had left which is right here. So I'm just going to take a little bit and then just sprinkle on each one. Okay, I'm going to place these in my preheated oven at 375 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. Keep an eye on these, you guys. We don't want to burn them, but we do want them to be a nice golden brown. Now, while these are cooking in the oven, I'm going to make the glaze, and it's just a simple three-ingredient glaze. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, to make the glaze, you're going to need half a cup of powdered sugar. quarter teaspoon of vanilla. Just depends on how flavorful you want it. I might add a little bit more. There we go. 
and then one tablespoon of milk. We're gonna go with that right now and see how that works out. And we're just gonna mix this together. Now I have extra milk here just in case we need that, but just keep going until you get a nice glaze. We don't want it running off of the twist, okay? But we don't want it thick either. <laughs> Okay, that's looking really good. Oh, it smells good too with that vanilla in there. You know, if you have different extracts, you can try different flavors too, so don't be afraid. I really want to try this with like orange. Okay. Now you want to like pick it up and then just kind of do that, and that's what we're looking for right there. All right, this is ready. When the twists come out of the oven, we're going to go ahead and start glazing them. Okay, I just pulled these out of the oven. They're nice and golden on the top. And I'm gonna show you the bottom and then we're going to glaze these. Look at how golden they are on the bottom there. All right. Okay, so just take your tongs and loosen these up. I'm gonna glaze them on the pan here since I've already got one pan used here so I don't have to dirty up another dish. Just make sure they're all loose. There we go. Okay, I've got my glaze here. I'm just gonna go ahead and start glazing. So just drizzle. There we go. Let's plate these up. Here we go, glazed cinnamon twist. What do you think? How would you do yours a little extra? Probably some chocolate chips, some orange glaze, whatever you can think of, some nuts. Okay, let me know down in the comments how you'd like to make yours. But these are fantastic. I'm gonna try one for you right now. Okay, look at that, y'all. You see the twist? It's got the cinnamon and sugar on the inside with the butter and on the outside nice and golden on the bottom and we have the glaze let's take a bite mm. oh my gosh so delicious you guys very delicious mm. so delicious i can eat a few of these right now Grab you a cup of coffee or whatever you want to drink. Have a few of these. Let your kids make these. They are so fun to make. Okay, guys. Give me a thumbs up right here. Comment down below. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below with that bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted. All right. Y'all want one? I will see you on my next episode.